Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another very special native video. This video is going to be my favorite because I'm going to be talking about the brand new machine cupcake maker that we got in the game by the latest winter update a couple of days ago. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be a little guide of the cupcake maker. I'm going to be explaining everything that you guys need to know about the cupcake maker, whether you're about to purchase it or you're just interested in knowing the information about the machines, this video will be helpful for you. So I just harvested my crops and my saddle got full. That means we need to sell some items. Okay, I don't even know what I have. Okay, well, I have a lot of crops. I think I've not been making products. So first thing first, let's convert my wheat into the wheat bundles. Yes, there we go. And I'm going to make some more sugar over here. All right, can I do now? I don't know. Let's see what I can actually do. Okay, I have so many rice and... The best way to use your rice is definitely to make more sushi. There I go. And I can probably make some rice noodles. Yeah, and I'm just going to try to harvest all my vegetables. Now, let's see. Okay, we did this. And let's see what I can plant. So I'm going to go with... Um, actually, I don't have a lot of these crops. But no, we're not going to plant that. I Let's go with some grapes. Wait, do I need grapes to make the actual cupcake? I, I don't know. So, yeah, I'm just going to plant all those. Maybe I should save some because you never know what's going to happen. And probably some chickpeas. Ever since they've added this winter stew, I've actually not been making a lot of chickpea stews. I've just been making a lot of uh, the winter stews because I think for me they're easier to make. But you still need a lot of potatoes. And, of course, onions are rare. So I'm just going to make like a mix of... Uh, winter and the chickpeas too. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. Let's collect my peanuts and honeycombs over here. Oh my gosh, I think I forgot to do my boat, so we're probably gonna do that too. Let's do a lot of mangoes. Let's do pillows, and I'm just going to ask for help. And we're gonna make more cream over here. Let's make some cheese. Now I'm gonna come to the main topic of this video, the cupcake maker that you guys can see right here. I think it still has two hours and 33 minutes. I'm gonna spend three diamonds because I can't wait anymore. I'm really excited to try this and make delicious new cupcakes. So first, we need to bring this machine into the spotlight at a separate place. I think I'm just gonna bring it over here. Yeah, I think this place is good to go. So we're going to spend three diamonds, and I'm basically going to unwrap this. But you know, something's really bugging me. Let's see what I have over here. Okay, I'm going to trash this. Yeah, so are you guys ready? I'm really excited. So three, two, one. Here we go. Just going to unwrap it. Yay, 44 XP after unwrapping the cupcake maker. And here you go with this beautiful, not beautiful, but really cute cupcake maker machine. The latest addition into Haiti with the actual winter 2022 update. First thing first, guys, I absolutely love the design of this machine. I think it's so pretty, it's so vibrant, so, so colorful, and I love this kind of machine. So, yeah, this is how it looks. You can also change the direction. Design-wise, I think it's been inspired from a lot of science fiction because, I don't know, it looks like a rocket or like a UFO, you know? It looks something like that. So on the machine, we have a big cupcake with a pink frosting. Then on the left-hand side, we have some sprinkles. And on the right-hand side, we have a, a raspberry syrup bottle, which I'm going to show you guys how it's going to work. So I'm just going to tap on the machine. Here we go. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to listen to the audio of this machine. So let's see how it actually sounds. Going to turn the volume on. Okay, so the sound is very much like the soup kitchen. Yeah, that's just like the soup kitchen. And I want to know the size of this machine. Is it like a small machine? Is it a big machine? Let's see. Where can I fit it? Oh, it's actually, I don't know. I think it's a small machine. Yeah, it is a small machine. It is the size of the loom. So it is not a big machine like the cake oven or the sauce maker. Now, the first thing that you guys know I do after unlocking any machine is open its slots. It is the best way I can spend my diamonds on. So let's have a look at the mastery. First of all, you need to run this for 140 hours for the first star. It's going to be, I believe, 430 hours for the second star. And then 1630 hours for the final star, just like yogurt, fudge, and the stew pot. 
So, yeah, and I think this is the first, yeah, this is the third sweep machine that we've got in the game this year. You guys know we got the fudge maker, we got the yogurt maker. Steam Potter is the only machine that makes salty foods. Otherwise, all the things have been sweet. So this was a really sweet year for all of us. I'm going to open the slots here. 6, 9, 12, 15. That's actually going to cost me a lot of diamonds. Oh, there we go. I just have... 25 diamonds right now. A general introduction of this machine. This machine unlocks at level 109. It is going to cost you 1.2 million coins. It's going to take four days to build, or you could spend 89 diamonds if you want to speed up its production. But I didn't do that. I just spent three diamonds. All right, now let's talk about the products. So first of all, you have the plain cupcake, which unlocks at level 109. Let's see what we need to make this plain cupcake. You need three white sugar, one egg, five wheat and two milk, which I believe is pretty much same as the donuts. You know, you have the plain donut, but that just requires one white sugar. Oh my gosh, the ingredients are same, but you actually need more stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to make it. There we go. It's going to take 40 minutes. And this is how your cupcake maker looks when it's working. A really cool animation. Basically, there's that little cupcake room and when the cupcake comes out of that, it goes to both places to get some sprinkles and some syrups, and then it goes down. So that's pretty cool. And the big cupcake actually moves down. So that's a really cool animation. I really like it. Let's spend three diamonds. I think I'm going to run out of diamonds in this video. So one plain cupcake gives you 34 XP. Nice. Now you do need the plain cupcakes to make the other cupcakes, just like you need plain donuts to make other donuts. Next, we have the Gava Cupcake. I don't remember the levels, guys. I'll put it in the description if you're interested. So the Gava Cupcake needs one plain cupcake, one cream, and two Gavas. It is going to take one hour and ten minutes. Let's just make it. There we go. I'm going to spend four diamonds, and this gives you 70 XP. That's a lot of XP, guys. All right, next we have the actual Tropical Cupcake. This needs one plain cupcake, three pineapples, and two coconuts. One hour and 30 minutes. There we go. We're going to spend five diamonds. And that is 68 XP. Cool. This is lesser than the actual Gava Cupcake. Last, you have the Cookie Cupcake, which needs one plain cupcake, two cream, two cookies, and one cacao. And it is going to take two hours. I'm going to spend five diamonds. And that is 85 XP. Wow. So the highest XP product in this machine is the Cookie Cupcake. And all these products are kind of hard to make, considering you're going to need a lot of white sugar and a lot of dairy, especially... Uh, the cookie cupcake is going to need a lot of dairy. But first of all, make sure you have a lot of plain cupcakes because you are going to need these to make the other cupcakes. So I'm just going to put a lot of plain cupcakes right now. And there goes my white sugar. So make sure you're always running your sugar mill and you're always making a lot of, lot of, lot of white sugar. So many people are against the new machines. I love the addition of the new machines in the game. I think that's the challenge. Ultimately, you have to manage everything. Uh, so for me, it's so much fun. And I always love the new machines. So yeah, it's working now. It's going to run for almost two to three hours, maybe more. And here you can see I've already run this for five hours. I'm just going to close it. And let's see where I can put it on my farm. Yeah, I think that's a good location right now. Now I'm going to come to the shop and I'm going to do a little analytical stuff of these cupcakes. And we're going to see, are they worth selling? What are their prices? Obviously not going to be worth selling because they're rare, just like donuts. But then again, if you're trying to fully master your cupcake maker... Then you can sell that. Oh yeah, and the cupcake maker is going to be really easy to fully master. Uh, the products might not be that easy to make, but they take a lot of time. So ultimately, I think it is easy to fully master. It's not going to take a lot of time. Unlike Donut Maker, which took me eight to nine months, that was really hard to fully master because the products just took really low time. So I'm just going to scroll down in my barn and we're going to have a look at all the cupcakes that I got from this machine. Okay, so first we have the plain cupcake, 280 coins. 10 for almost 2800 Um, Not worth selling because you're going to use a lot of white sugars in this. It's a raw material product, um, and the price is not even that high. So I would not sell this. Gava Cupcake is for 583 coins. Very expensive. It's a good way to make money. If you have enough of them, you can sell them. I'm not going to say don't sell them. They're pretty good. And I feel like all the cupcakes are going to be really expensive. So the Tropical Cupcake, 572 coins again. Definitely you can sell this. And the Cookie Cupcake, wow, that's insane, guys. Cookie Cupcake is 7, 12 coins. I'm actually shocked. That's, wow, that's really expensive. And you can, of course, sell this too if you want to, you know, make money. But I don't recommend selling the plain cupcakes. 
Partly because in my opinion, you should use the plain cupcakes to make the other cupcakes. Secondly, they also need a lot of white sugar, so that's just going to be a waste to just sell it. But I mean, of course, you can sell it if you have a lot of them. Uh, so yeah, that's all about the cupcake maker. This was a machine that I was not expecting in the game because I thought we had cakes in the game, so maybe that was enough, but of course it was not enough. We needed to have cupcakes, but I'm not complaining. I love this machine. I think it's so cute. It's so colorful, and it looks really cool when it's working. I'm not going to be kidding. It looks very different from other machines that we have in the game. It looks so unique, guys. It looks like something that we've just never had in the game before, so... Yeah, pretty exciting. Um, but anyways, I've already spent like over 100 diamonds in this video just to show you guys how this machine is going to work. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this little guide of the Cupcake Maker. Let me know what you think of this machine in the comments. I love it, and you guys know that I always love the new machines, so I'm not even going to say anything. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more handy content coming. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.